Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey Kirk, how are you doing? This is my first video of 2014. I'm concentrating again on using the cane. That I use the cane at all is because I have a significant back injury. Now I have to use the cane when I walk and the brace to stand tall if I want to stand and walk for any length of time. Now I don't have to do it briefly. I can put it aside and practice bare hands. But I can't do it consistently or for long periods of time. There's too much of an injury, uh, possibility of injuring myself. Another way I can do it is to hold on to the cane while I'm striking or kicking briefly. The other way is to use the cane to either hold on for when I'm kicking or in the case of this as a striking tool like that. Three ways. I can put it aside, I can hold on to it, or I can use it. The whole idea is to make the cane a part and parcel of how I train. That's how it's evolved for me, because of an injury. Now there are basically nine grips that I use. So far I've only really covered six, but there are basically nine. One, I have the walking grip. Two, I have this grip. Three, I have a two-handed grip, which allows me to come through here, or thrust. Four is here. Five is a two-handed grip, and again, I can move this way, or this way, or I can block. Six is here, and I can either thrust, or I can hook, depending. Now the seventh grip is right in the middle. It's right here. And again, you notice that it's like a hammer grip. I can throw it here, here. If I'm out here, I'm too far away, so I'd have to be here. Even with the turn, I just can't quite reach. But here, I can just reach. Eight is just about. This means when I can go to here and down to here, then I can switch hands, and then this particular grip here, I can block and strike. Now, by having the ninth grip, all I've really got is a punch. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grips. Now, there are two different ways that I can hold on to this piece of wood. One is with like a hammer grip. I don't want to choke it, but I want to make sure that if I thrust or hammer or block or what have you, that I'm not going to lose control of the cane and that I'm not going to hurt my wrist. So by holding on this, it's a nice, facile movement. Now the other way is like a saber grip. I don't recommend this particular grip with this because it's just too easy to hurt yourself. This cane is not a sword, and it doesn't function as a sword, and it's just too easy to hurt. So here requires a little more practice, but you stand less chance of hurting yourself. That's how and why I grip the cane and how I use it. Nine grips, two different ways to hold on to it, three different ways to use it. 